So, let's look at the subject first, okay? Um, the subject in the Greek is called the nominative, okay? Okay? It's called the nominative, okay? That makes sense, you guys? So when we see a nominative, we know it's the subject, okay? So, for example here, um, the nominative case is used to indicate the subject of the verb. The nominative is the one that is doing or receiving the action of the verb, okay? Uh, the nominative answers the question of who and what. Okay, so in our example of, of John hit the ball, uh, hit Paul's ball to Susan, what is the, the nominative in that sentence? John. Nominative is the subject. Okay, so what I want us to do, you guys, in looking at John 3.16, um, I want us to look at John 3.16, I want you to find the nominative, okay? So open this up, look at this, you guys. As we're starting to look through this, we look at these Greek words, and we get down to, right down here. You see the first one that starts with an N mm -hmm. is the one we worked on, is the word theos. Mm -hmm. So let's click on that and see what, what uh, case that is. <coughs> so we see it's a noun, okay? And it's also what? No. Nominative, <coughs> which makes sense. For God, what? So loved the world, okay? Uh, without even looking, I would say what? What is the uh, uh, direct object? God so loved the world. the world. Okay. So if we were to preach or teach this, the subject and the main heading of this passage is going to be God. God's doing the action. God's doing the loving. Okay.